Welcome to the grand scheme of crypto. Peace, everybody. This is Grand Scheme of Crypto back at you once again with another video. This time, I'm going to be talking about the 10 top worst or largest crypto hacks and exploits of 2023 as it relates to crypto. Let's jump right into it. So, I wanted to make this video as you know, a kind of a nice uh, tribute to 2023 as we enter 2024. <clears throat> And let you guys know about the importance of security as it relates to crypto. So let's jump right into it. So the first one, um, and a lot of these before we get started, I didn't even know about. So these will be this will be some education for myself as well, um, to catch up on kind of some of these hacks. So Mixin Network, a Hong Kong based crypto project, was hit with the largest crypto exploit of the year, two hundred million dollars. On September 23rd, the firm had to abruptly cease operations after hackers plundered a staggering $200 million from users' hot wallets. Mixon reported that the database of its cloud service provider was attacked by hackers while the firm provided no further explanation. It's believed among analysts the impacted database may have held their private keys to users' accounts. The secret phase is unlocking their crypto holdings, which is why you don't want to keep your money on exchanges. Never keep your money on exchanges, and they shouldn't have been actually holding that data in that way in the first place. Next up is Euler Finance, $197 million. Few events captured the audacity, the audacity and vulnerability of DeFi as vividly as the March 2023 exploit on lending protocol Euler. This is when $197 million worth of crypto vanished in a weird sleight of hand. The call for the hacker who exploited a vulnerability on the lending pr protocol by manipulating the exchange rates between Euler issued stablecoins, EDI and DDI by repeatedly calling the donate to reserves function using DAI. The attacker was able to inflate the EDI and DDI rate. They utilized the flash loan, a type of loan repaid within the same Ethereum transaction to disrupt the balance of the liquidity pools holding the two tokens. This triggered liquidations of DDI denominated borrow positions to siphon funds from the protocol. But the story doesn't end there. Later in a twist dubbed a white hut move, the hacker returned the stolen funds. Almost all but a small bounty from the loot trickled back to the team, providing relief for the victims. Wow. I guess that was nice of him. Um, some of these stories do actually end up like that, where the hacker usually gives back the funds. Um, multi-chain, $125 million in July. Cross-chain chain bridge multi-chain was reportedly exploited for $125 million in cryptocurrencies across different blockchains. It supported with the largest amount of funds taken on Phantom. This occurred right after the bridge was halted and made the team citing multiple issues due to unforeseeable circumstances. The exact cause of the hack remains unclear to this date, as no conclusive post-mortem reports have been made available yet. One likely factor, as explained by security firm Halborn, suggests that the private keys of the bridge's smart contracts were compromised with hackers exploiting bugs in its code. Concerns have been raised that the team itself may have been responsible for the incident, a fear fueled by the disappearance of multi-chain CEO Daojin right before the hack. Prior to the event, he was arrested by Chinese authorities, and it was revealed that he had exclusive control over the protocol's funds, contradicting Multichain's earlier decentralization claims. The Multichain bridge is currently no longer operational. Polyanex. I used to use Multichain, so that is crazy. I haven't really been around for 2023. Um, as far as crypto is concerned, um, I have been active, just not really as active. The next one is Polyanex for $120 million in November 2023. Suspected North Korean Lazarus Group hacker siphoned a staggering $120 million from Polyanex's hot wallets, likely by gaining access to private keys. The immediate fallout was predictable. Trading and withdrawals halted. The exchange says it will reimburse infected users. Polyanex has operated as a centralized exchange since 2014. Tron founder Justin Sun acquired the exchange in 2019. Atomic Wallet, $100 million. In June 2023, crypto wallet app Atomic had its users' wallet accounts empty. Hackers stole over $100 million worth of assets from roughly 5,500 users. The primary cause of the incident remains unclear as Atomic has not yet provided an explanation. It's suspected that the exploit may have been caused by vulner code vulnerabilities flagged by security analysts at least authority a year prior to the incident. Analysts at Slow Mist also found potential issues. On-chain analytics firm Elliptic, which tracked over 5,500 wallets targeted in the attack, said that the North Korean Hacking Association Lazarus Group was behind it. 
In August, a group of victims in Russia filed a class action lawsuit against the company behind Atomic for falling, failing to protect user assets. A few months later, the firm replied with a motion to dismiss the lawsuit in the U.S. court. Heckle Bridge, HTX $99 million. In November, the primary cross-chain bridge on Heckle, a blockchain set up by the HTX exchange, witnessed a large exploit. The perpetrator gained control over the bridge's primary smart contract or operator account, resulting in the theft of over $86 million in various cryptocurrencies. I used to use Atomic Wallet, by the way. Just wanted to mention that. I used to use this wallet quite frequently. And I thought that it was pretty secure because of the fact that it was um, it wasn't user friendly. It was quite complex, um, and that tends to make things a little more secure when it's when it's a little more com uh, complex for users to set up because it gives you more control as far as you know your keys and your wallet and how it's set up and how it's used as far as you how you sign transactions and so on and so forth. But back to the Hacker Bridge hack. Um, so initial analysis suggests that the intruder manipulated the smart contract code of the bridge and circumvented its security protocols. This manipulation allowed the hacker to mint unauthorized tokens via the bridge contract, which were then exchanged for Ether and subsequently transferred out of the bridge. HCX previously, who will be also suffered a loss of $12 million from his top wallet, Justin Sun, an advisor to HCX and founder of Tron stated, a white hat bounty reward was offered to the hacker. This offer was seemingly accepted, leading to the recovery of $8 million of the $12 million stolen by the platform. So Curve Finance, $73 million. So July saw an attack on Curve Finance, one of DeFi's largest decentralized exchanges. Several liquidity pools on the platform were exploited due to a vulnerability in the Viper programming language it had used, which typically Viper is more secure um, because it's not it's not so widely used, um, resulting in hackers stealing around $73 million in various crypto assets. The thing is, Viper is not that widely used, so um, there's not really a lot of Viper developers. So that makes it very hard for, you know, I, I would say there's no oversight for some of these developers who are programming in Viper for some of these larger organizations on the blockchain. There's a lot of trust being placed in these people. Um, because everything is so new and, you know, there's just no oversight because how can you, when you, when that's just it's such a small pool of, of developers. So a security flaw allowed hackers, attackers to drain funds maliciously by exploiting its smart contract logic. The, this involved a re-entry and attack where the hacker manipulated smart contracts to withdraw funds in rapid succession. A malfunctioning re-entry guard within Viper facilitated this attack. Projects built on top of Curve's factory pools, including JPEG, Metronome, and Alchemix, were impacted. The Curve team quickly patched the vulnerability and eventually ended up recovering about $50 million, that or 70% of the stolen funds, alleviating concerns for many users and stakeholders. Recovered funds were either directly given back by ethical hackers involved or saved with the assistance of operators um, of MEV bots, such as CopyBabe.E. Uh, Coinex, $55 million in September. Coinex was exploited. It looks like it was the hot wallets. Looks like Lazarus was behind a lot of these uh, exploits. Let's see. PyroSwap. $54 million, and then stake.com for $41 million. Um, wow. So, yeah, as you guys can see, a lot of the, even some of the larger platforms, like we see here, Curve, Polynex, which is, is an exchange, you always want to make sure you have your money in a wallet that is controlled by you. Um, you know, likely a hardware wallet. You know, and even those have their faults. So you really always want to be doing your due diligence to find the best security and the best ways to be storing your funds. Um, as things are constantly changing, there's constantly uh, new products being, you know, put out on the market. And, um, yeah, you want to make sure you're staying ahead. So that's it for this one. Make sure you guys check out the links below. It's the Grand Scammer Crypto. I'm out. Peace.